singer, and I'm going to be spotting this special guest here today. And this is Noah, and as he said, he is co-commentating with me for this Majora's Mask Let's Play. I believe this is part five. We're here in the Deku Palace. What we're going to be doing is first getting a heart piece. When you enter the palace, head off to the left, and it's pretty much like the spot in Ocarina of Time where you have to avoid the guards. So this time it's Deku guards, and they have seeds that they shoot, which if they, it's kind of like their line of sight. Like it, lasers. Fire my laser. Is there a charge in there? <laughs> and if you um, run into one of the, their lasers, you also get sent back to the beginning. But we're going to yeah, head over here and get ourselves a heart piece and some rupees in the process. After doing all that, we we will just get through into the Deku Palace chamber with the king and everything and work our way through the game, get to the entrance of the dungeon, and that will conclude this segment. But right now we're just getting that heart piece. So... Yeah, this is part of the game that I hate. I hated this part. I never even went for this piece of heart just because I don't like this part so much. No, I, uh, I don't think we were intending to go for this piece of heart. We just forgot which way to go. <laughs> <laughs> My brother and I are playing this, uh, game together, but we're just gonna get caught to get kicked out and go the way we need to go. Yeah, quicker. So, this time we're gonna head to the right. He'll lecture us about not going into the places we're not supposed to be. And yeah. And we gotta find the guy that sells beans. Is yeah. that this part? Yes, it is. Alright. So, it's pretty easy to avoid these guys. As I say that people are raging. Probably getting caught a bunch. <laughs> yeah, like me. I know the first time I did this, I did get caught a whole lot. I don't know if it's just because I was young and stupid. But... Took me a long time. The first time, I was quite aggravated. Yeah, most people probably like try to rush through it. Some people like me don't have patience. They like to just run through it. The uh, it's fun. The court courtyard in Ocarina of Time also used to take me forever. Now I can do it in one try. Yeah, that one's way easier than this. Yeah, I think the hardest part is the fact that uh, his. Flying when you do have to do the part where you have to fly through uh, across with the flowers and everything. His yeah. flying is a little bit hard to control at times. Yeah, and then you fall on and start all the way over. Yeah, that's why I like about emulators and save states. Uh, Unfortunately, yeah. I'm not using one of those here. Yeah. Magic beans. Yeah, I had to reorder a capture card because my last one broke. I had to pay $45 for a new one with the cords and everything. Huh. I fall right back down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just sold my second capture card. It's the same one I used here. It's a, a Dazzle HD. Dazzle. I just sold one to uh, the webmaster of Link's Hideaway, which is another Zelda site. Uh, yeah, I bought a Dazzle DBC 100. Nice. I think that might be the one I have. Is it the black one? No, it's a white one. White one? I, maybe not then. Because I'm white, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> I'd be gangsta. Gangsta. Up in here. There's this kid that went to my high school who had one of those really, really large t-shirts, like all the gangster yeah. people wear, and had Mario on it, so we all called him Mario Gangster. <laughs> the baggy cute. pants. Yeah. With the boxers showing, the tilted hat. The shorts that look like they should be jeans, but are just too short for them. What? Yeah. And what always aggravated me about the flowers was I would try and pour water on it, and it would miss, and I'd just wet the ground, and the plants wouldn't grow. Thankfully, yeah. that time it didn't happen. Yeah. I would oh. always forget the water. You notice how the, the time of day changed right there? <laughs> I may have. I'm gonna call your dog Sparky. Like this video if you like dogs. Quiet down in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have to go in there and slap her or something. 
Like this video if you like PETA. <laughs> it's a chihuahua. Ah. Um, I'm hoping that was your girlfriend slash wife's decision. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I don't know why any dude would get a chihuahua. <laughs> Did you say that movies may really heal chihuahuas? No, I'm not gay. I mean, no. It's freaking stupid as heck. <laughs> Uh, though I am going to be seeing a new Winnie the Pooh movie, so I cannot talk. <laughs> Why are you saying that? My girlfriend is obsessed with Winnie the Pooh. Uh. So I've showed her a couple of YouTube videos about Winnie the Pooh that have slightly ruined it for her. <laughs> <laughs> this is YouTube poop kind of stuff. Oh yeah. Those things are so bad. So, yeah, this is the hardest part of Whole thing. Yeah, my brother was on these moving platforms. Yeah, my brother was the one that was doing this part, and he made it all the way to the end right here. And then I don't know what he was thinking, but he just kind of let go at the complete wrong time and had to go back. I cut that out, which is why you saw the time of day change when he jumped, went into the flower, and then when he jumped out of the flower. <laughs> but I cut that out. Yeah. He's doing the meat spin circle right now. <laughs> You spin me right round. Alright. <laughs> Hate that song. <laughs> song's been ruined. <laughs> There's so many songs that get ruined from the internet. But yeah. Yeah, once you make it through, you are in the Deku King's chamber. Go ahead and equip your ocarina. And talk to this little guy. A monkey. Yeah, yeah, with the monkeys. He's gonna teach us a song. Mike falls over. Woo! That part's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's humping the air. <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate. And then, uh, my brother clicks no. I just is one of those things I hate about lots of the Zelda games, including uh, Ocarina yeah, of Time. Like the owl. Yeah. They try and yeah, trick you. Oh uh, yeah. That got me like three times in a row. <laughs> Especially, I, I don't even pay attention sometimes. I just turn around and I'm like doing other stuff. I just keep hitting A and I come back like three yeah, minutes later. Yeah. Like, why am I still talking to this guy? Yep. He's gonna teach us the. What was it again? Oh, what's this? Something song Awakening. Sonata of Awakening? Yeah. I like that song too. Now he takes his time pressing the A button. <laughs> it's actually a nice sounding song. Thinking about getting this game soundtrack for my car. Yeah, I had this soundtrack. It's like two discs. I just ordered the Wind Waker soundtrack after after getting the free o Ocarina of Time one from Club Nintendo. I decided oh, yeah. Wind Waker was so the next step. To that. Have you got it yet? No, I haven't listened to them either. I'm missing out. Does that have good new tracks, or is it just the same old stuff? It's the same thing. There's one, maybe two new tracks. They have a new uh, kind of credits t song, which is uh, totally orchestrated, and it's one of the best ones on the track. It's not even an uh -huh. original one. And then, I need to listen to it then. Then they have an orchestrated Kakariko Village, and I don't remember if that was on the original, because I never had the original. I can't just remember from looking at it, but... We'll see. But now that we have uh, that all done, just go over here to the flower to the right and jump on up. To the cave. And this takes oh us God, to the southern arc. swamp. Now... Yeah, watch out for dragonflies. Yeah. Oh, mother... The only way to kill them is like... Jumping out of the flowers. Ah, Joe from Nimbuzz is messaging me with Zelda videos or something. But yeah, as he said, uh, just wait for them to get above you and jump out. Yeah. And that will kill them. You can shoot them with your bubbles, but this is easier. And you don't have to waste magic power. Yeah, then you don't risk them hitting you in the air and knocking you into the swamp. And that as well. So it's pretty much flying, uh, I don't know. 
giant flower to giant flower using the mini flowers on top of the flowers. Yep. This time I'm going to go over to this uh, piece of wood. I want to say this is wood. The graphics make it kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it'd be cool if they remade this game for 3 days. Oh, uh, y'all yeah, over that. Except I hope they change the save system. Oh, look who it is. Uh oh. We're just talking about you. <laughs> the most annoying Zelda character ever. Yeah. It's an annoying theme song. I had that song stuck in my head from the CD that I got. <laughs> And he kind of teaches you about, I don't remember, I think he was just talking about this thing and learning songs. Oh yeah. So we're going to go ahead and equip, uh, oh this is a song of soaring, he teaches you how to fly, which will come in handy later on in the game, not so much now, but. Yeah, it's basically like warping. Saves a lot of time. Oh yeah. Especially when you decide you want to save the game after getting to a dungeon and just go back there later. Yep. I think it lets you warp every owl statue to owl statue. Yeah, and to activate an owl statue, you have to smack it with your sword. When you see it, otherwise you cannot warp there. So don't yep. forget to do so. Which I think I do at a couple of points. <laughs> Not in this chapter, but later on. It's like whenever you see the owl statue, you just want to hit it with your sword because you hate that owl so much. What's in here? Here we go. Almost time for the temple. And this is Woodfall. And the temple is Woodfall Temple, obviously. Very creative. Water. And we will not be going into the temple in this video, but we will be going right outside to the entrance so we can have the temple all in one uh, separate video. Now, my brother was very careful here because he did not want to get knocked off, so he. He was moving pretty slowly. He actually hit a couple of times, I believe, but these guys will charge at you, and they're quite annoying. Yeah, they're really annoying. I think it's easier to probably handle like your bubble and the dead you. That's not what I was range. thinking, but he chose. I think he wanted the shield, so he went with that. So uh, I guess yeah. the deck you has a shield as well. Oh, uh, yes, sir. I don't know why. Oh, so oh, close. <laughs> That was not the There we go, he got him. We're almost there. And you see there's an owl statue to the left in the distance a little bit. Yeah. And what we're going to do here is fly over this guy and use the uh, Deku nuts to, like a bomb, and just kind of land him on him. Yeah. Bing. He was trying to figure out how to press and I had to tell him he was pressing uh, the right C stick. I'm like, nope, press B. Press Z or R twice. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. Oh, I'm really disappointed they took out the uh, online multiplayer for that on the 3DS. They did? Yeah, it's just local play, so I don't know if I'm going to oh. get it anymore. That sucks. Does it still have Daryl Barrow? <laughs> yeah, they actually brought back all the original voice actors for it. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, this is pretty much going to conclude the assignment. We're going to uh, smack this owl statue, and I'll be it, so I'm going to leave it with you. Smack it in the So check out hey, Mario Center's video. Check him out. Bye bye.